there used to be a time where an average man could get an average woman, right? Just whatever that is. But with the advent of the internet, right, and the global sexual marketplace, uh, an average woman is getting hit up by all dudes. I don't know. I know you might have heard that some women get flown out to Dubai yeah. for $30,000 a weekend. I don't know. That's just rumors. I don't know <laughs> what they're doing with the pies out there, but it's a real thing. <laughs> but, you know, it's a global sexual marketplace that used to be a localized marketplace. It used to be you're, you're, you're a guy, you're working hard, you're a construction worker, you're a cop, you're an attorney, and, you know, you go out to your local bars and you go out and you meet women and that's your dating pool. And uh, Professor Scott Galloway, NYU, has done many uh, analysis on this. Is ba basically the internet, dating apps, uh, Instagram specifically has been disastrous for young men because now, let's say you're in Des Moines, Iowa, you're not only competing with everyone in Des Moines, you're competing everybody in Dubai, you're competing with everybody in Detroit, you're competing with everybody in Dallas, a lot of D's out there, y'all literally and physically, uh, that are out there. So now if you're just that dude, that maybe you could have gotten that girl, you need to work double as hard to get that girl because you're competing and not just your localized yeah. marketplace. It's a, it's a globalized marketplace. So that's why a lot of men are basically suffering and they're basically saying what Angela's saying is like, oh, these girls suck, they ain't shit. And it's like the one thing you can't control is yourself. Yeah. Is your money that you make, how you look, how you dress, mm -hmm. how you act, how you respond, your game, what you read, your knowledge. That's the one thing you can't control. Because if you're that dude that's going up and the one girl you talk to because you're too shy to talk to a bunch of girls rejects you and you're like, ah, oh, women suck. Or even there's, let's say you even actually have a good mouthpiece and you can spit some game, but you don't got anything else going on. And you're like, ah, every time I can talk to a girl, she just rejects me. It's like, you need to look in the mirror, brother, and be like, what can I do to improve? Because at one point in my life, when I was partying every day, getting drunk, South Beach, I, I gained weight, I was like not the best version of myself, like I would get rejected. Luckily these days, not so, it's like, <laughs> things are okay. Like I don't get like, yeah, get out of here, buddy. Like, um, but like, because I had to look in the mirror yeah. and be like, buddy, get your fucking act together. Yeah. So I think a lot of men are, you know, again, we get back to the victim versus the doer mentality. The doers will figure it out, the victim. So anyway, I'm giving you the, like, the overall macroeconomic situation with hoflation. But yeah. basically, it's harder for an average guy just to get a normal girl anymore because she has so many options. So does that make sense to you? It makes sense. And I think it's also can be flipped around. Like men also have so much women to like just as there's men, there's women. And men also have many women who also approach on social media, but like men are also being creeps sometimes and being told off. No, I, I understand. That. I guess that's theoretically speaking. Yes, there are more women and like, but can they get those women? Exactly. Right? And it's just about, I think it's also, like you said, about where you are and where your mindset is at. If you're thinking that you're women are all about the money, then you're going for women that are all about the money because there's women that don't care about your money and care about like your personality, how you treat them, if you're treating them respectfully, if you're like putting in the work to actually make money because it's not like we're gonna be, like high value women are not gonna be dating a guy that's just sitting around in the house doing nothing. Like you also have to be having goals and going towards something and showing the person that you're you have goals and you're going towards something so that that so that you can attract the same kind of people that are interested in you not just for your money but also because you're a very intellectual dude you're a very um driven guy and you're um and and that person feels safe to spend the rest of their life with you because if you're just trying to like get a woman to fuck then to have sexual relationship to with. throw pies. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> pies out here. Then there's What's many women that yeah. can do that and rates for them are, have probably gone up too because as our in, as our housing goes up, all of the women's rates that are Oh, are that is go the up. literal definition yeah. of hoflation. So like, that's what I was thinking. I was a, like, I mean, yeah. everything's going up, they're going to go up too. Like they're going to need more money. Well, here, um I, I want to get Tess in a second, but the the underlying 
premise here is the concept of hypergamy. I'm sure you're very familiar with this concept. Are you guys familiar with this word, hypergamy? No. It's basically the, uh, the act of a woman dating or marrying up socioeconomically, right? So like in, in India, there used to be the caste system where basically yeah. you had to stay in your caste and if you were able to get out of it, you, you were marrying up socioeconomically, right? So uh, th th we have some images on this that, that we can even break down right here. So, but here's how hypergamy sort of works in the dating marketplace, right? Oh, she's gonna put some glasses on. So uh -huh. <laughs> let's define the, the adult top men and the top women. So would it be fair to say that the top men are the richest, most successful men for the most part? Can we say that? Yeah. And that the top women are the most beautiful women in the world. Can we say that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the basic premise is that men are typically defined by their status, their income, their net work, uh, everything that comes with that. Or women are defined by their beauty, not just outer beauty, but also inner beauty. I like to highlight that where it's like, we all know models in South Beach and all around the world that are gorgeous and you talk to them you're like ugh, she's disgust me yeah. uh, and then there's also women who are beautiful but then they they have so much inner beauty that you're like all right there's so much going on with this girl that like there's it's just so more than meets the eye but stay on that chart if you would so the way that it works is the the top men are going to date the top women that's just how that goes and then you go 20 percent, 30 percent, and then the, the bottom 50 percent. then here's what happens and here's why men are struggling so the women the top 20% of women, right, however you want to define that, they're also looking for the top 1% guy because women want to date up based on hypergamy. Yeah. Whereas a man, at least for dating, he'll bang the 10, he'll bang the 8, he'll bang the 6. If he's drunk enough, bring that little funny 4 over here. Let's fucking throw it. We'll figure it out. Tell her to bring a friend. And now we got the Ocho, two fours. All right, well, I don't know. That's just from what I hear. I've never done that, you know. But... Men will basically, they'll hit up the whole list, whereas the women, they're only going after the top guys. So now if you're the middle guy, your dating pool has basically shrunk. You see the middle 30%, they're basically relegated to the bottom one third of women, right? Whereas go down to the very bottom, I don't know if you can see, scroll down on that thing. Then you just got the bottom 30%. It's just like, let the ugly people and the fat people, <laughs> let them figure it out. I don't know, like best Survival of luck out the there, fittest. kids. What's that? Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest or survival of the fattest. But basically, <laughs> what will happen is the 80-20 rule. It's called the Pareto Principle. Where basically, like in sales, in a sales, in a sales team, the top 20% of the sales team, the top 20% of businesses, top 20% of people in this case, they're going to get 80% of the money, 80% of the women. The rich get richer, the poor get poor. So what happens is to the average man, if we can go back to that chart, is like they're stuck in the mud because the middle 30% of women back in the day when the, when the sexual marketplace wasn't as globalized, you know, if you're an average dude, you roll up to the bar, you meet an average girl, and you're like, all right, hey, how you doing? Now that average girl in Des Moines, you know, she meets a top 1% guy, top 10% guy, he has a one night fling with her, or hangs out with her for a little while, she thinks now that she deserves a guy like that. Mm. And but she's who's, basically- Whose fault is that? It's the guys, they're willing to do it. Well, it's, is it the guy's <laughs> fault that he took down a four for one night? I don't know about that, but <laughs> it's, it's that she has delusions of grandeur. What's it called? It's called getting alpha widowed, where basically if you're an average woman and a top, like an NBA basketball player rolls into town, Chris Brown rolls into town. And he's like, oh, I bring those fucking three girls into the trailer, to the dressing room. Maybe, so, you know, a rapper, a rapper runs in. Hey, how you doing? Um, shows up. Matt's having fun. Um, you know, a rapper rolls up and he's like, yeah, bring those three girls in. Now they all think that they deserve a high value man like that. Whereas like that dude was never going to date you. So basically it's a lot harder for an average dude out there. That's basically what I'm saying. And I'm using the Des Moines and du Dubai reference as an example, because back in the day, before social media, literally 10 years ago, Instagram, what, 2012, you weren't getting hit up by the sheik of Dubai being like, here's 30 grand, bring some fucking cream pies, let's have some fun. <laughs> you were dating <laughs> Derek in it. Des Moines, and you were happy to do so. And it's, 
You know, so as a man, it's number one, you need to just acknowledge this is game. what's happening. And yeah, have some. As a man, you need to acknowledge this is, the, this is the reality of the world today. This is where we're at. Number two, you could either do something about it or play the victim. It's kind of like what we were saying earlier. It's like, oh, women suck. Fuck these girls. These hoes ain't shit. It's like, no, I love women. I get along with women. I hang out with women. All the guys that I kick it with all hang out with a ton of women. They don't fucking hate women because they have an abundance mindset. They have a ton of women to hang out with, be friends with, kick it with, do whatever with. And that way they're not like anti-women. I don't understand guys who are anti-women. Most of the guys who are anti-women can't get women. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what I've realized. So look at yourself in the mirror, gentlemen, my friends out there, people are watching the show. Do you want women or do you not want women? Because if the answer is yes, I want women, the answer is you need to get better. Yep. Because a woman is gonna be like, oh, these girls are shit, they don't have any money, they're just, they're just gold diggers, or oh, they want a guy because he's tall and he's got muscles. It's like, you can make more money, you can make more muscles, you can learn more game, like you could do what you can do to improve, or just be that other dude, living in mom's basement being like, nah, pussy sucks. I don't like it. I never had it before. Heard it to, I heard it's kind of like apple pie. Shout out to the movie. But it's like, nah, you kind of want women in your life. Anyway. Um, don't focus so of, much on wanting women. Instead, focus more on, on yourself. Yourself and 10, bettering 000%. yourself so that women you heard it will here. just attract you. I could say that a million times in the, until I'm blue in the face, but sometimes it takes a woman to highlight that. Yeah. And your advice to men is what? So don't focus so much on your, improving your game. Focus more on improving yourself so that you can attract better women. And what is it about a man that when he improves and gets his shit together is attractive to you ladies? Like, we're really just looking for a guy that is focusing on himself and bettering himself. And we, and we can look up to him and be like, oh, my God, he's bettering himself. That pushes me to motivate me to better myself. And, like, mm -hmm. looking for someone that's there to, like have fun with like he cracks jokes he knows where to go out to like says hey let's go out to the beach let's go out camping like just normal man that focuses like has focused enough on himself to know what he wants and likes and mm -hmm. can share that with us Tessa, let's get your thoughts on everything we just discussed hopeflation <laughs> you know you are from canada you've dealt with men in dubai or people in dubai mm -hmm. Miami, what are you seeing out there in the global sexual marketplace? I mean, Dubai and Miami, mm. could you have a more competitive marketplace <laughs> for men dealing with women? What have you seen? I think, hopefully, honestly, don't come at me for this. I think it's the man's fault. It's like real estate. <laughs> People complain that house prices are going up, but there's always somebody who's willing to pay more, mm. buy that bigger house. Same, there's a guy who's always willing to spend more by the bigger girl, you know? So like you can't get- Better girl, not the bigger girl. Sorry, <laughs> the, the better girl. I'm looking for talking about big girls out here. You can't complain because there's always somebody who's willing to spend more, do more, show more. Yep. Mm -hmm. But if that's not you, then don't be that. Don't try to do that. Attract what you will attract. Don't like put on a show because that show's not gonna work for you. Like at some point that show's gonna close and then the girl's gonna be like, what the heck, you know? Show's so attract the right person from the start and you're gonna have it there for the right reasons and then you don't have to worry about whole inflation. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to worry about whole okay. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another or if you wanna watch the entire Sauce cast, click right here.